Very good question. Uh, I've heard that there's a sort of whistling language that people have used in the Pyrenees to speak over long distances. So perhaps uh, they've, they're resurrecting an old tradition. But you seem to to like systems, and the more complicated the system, the better. I wonder, do you have a, a hope in or for human knowledge, or do you think that <coughs> perhaps we're just wandering through smoke, and that, that actually every every age is uh, full of full of ignorance? And then within this, is there a particular time? of human ignorance or, or of human knowledge where you think it might best be to have lived? Is now a particularly good time with all of the things that are known? Or could it have been more exciting to live in medieval times? <coughs> well, actually, uh, wandering through smoke is how we, define, how we define the human knowledge. It's one and the same thing. Uh, Wittgenstein once uh, said, that uh, uh, somebody could uh, wonder about uh, the reality, the concept of reality, because uh, he could say, well, we see uh, the floor and our, our feet, that it's solid. Uh, it's uh, strong, it can keep us. But actually it's uh, made out uh, uh, of an emptiness, 99% or more, much more than 99, it's emptiness. Between the atoms, between uh, the protons and the, the electrons, uh, there are huge empty spaces. So the floor is empty, it's not, uh, uh, it's not uh, real and strong. Yes, says Wittgenstein, but we learned what strongness is or uh, reality is just looking at this floor as it is. So for us, the reality is as it is, is, uh, is uh, the, the floor that can keep us, but that is uh, also empty, an emptiness. So our uh, knowledge is also uh, wandering through, through uh, smoke. We do not have uh, other knowledge. You know, uh, an ant, an ant has a space around it of, of about two centimeters each, uh, each side, that she can feel, it can feel something. Because it is blind, cannot see anything, but uh, can perceive this space of two centimeters around. Well, we have some uh, uh, 100,000 light years around. But it's absolutely the same. It's absolutely the same. It doesn't matter how much is our space around. Uh, the knowledge is also shadow is also uh, 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 an illusion i'd say and and so from knowing that is the the pleasure sorry would you repeat from from knowing this that you just said does it then make sense that the pleasure we can have in knowledge is a playful one just to take joy in it and, and move through our, our life unto death enjoying these things is there is there a seriousness? Can, should anything be grave, or should everything be playful? Um, Jesse, this is uh, one of the most important uh, problems that I had when dealing with postmodernism. Postmodernism was the subject of my doctorate paper, and uh, it started uh, for me. It started in a fantastic uh, way. Uh, in uh, 1993, I, I think, I had this uh, uh, huge chance to work with some of my, some of uh, uh, the best, the very best postmodern American writers. Um, there was an event in Stuttgart uh, one month uh, uh, in Stuttgart called. Uh, uh, Postmodernism and beyond. When I invited Ihab Hassan, uh, uh, William H. Gass, John Barth, uh, was uh, Raymond Federman, and uh, from uh, 
from England, uh, from the, from Britain came uh, uh, Malcolm Bradbury. So I had this chance to work day by day, a whole month, with these giants of uh, the postmodern literature, and mostly with Ihab Hassan, who uh, absolutely amazed me. So I wanted to become myself a postmodern writer, and uh, when I started thinking, trying to think, and trying to write like them, I just found out that I couldn't. And I couldn't, not because of, uh, the, of the technical uh, um, side of the, the things, but because of the philosophical side. Because the postmodern philosophy, as Gianni Vatimo, uh, or uh, Giscard Petard, or uh, Jean-François uh, Lyotard, uh, postulated is unhuman. Is unhuman. It says everything is uh, uh, is uh, only uh, temporary. You just get born and then you die. So let's have a bit of fun in between. This is uh, the in a nutshell. This is the philosophy of uh, the postmodern literature. Let's have some fun. Let's uh, be. Uh, uh, Joyful. Let's uh, play upon words. Let's uh, make uh, I don't know uh, all sorts of gimmicks, <coughs> things like that. Just uh, the people laugh. Just the people feel uh, well. Just to be happy. Uh, all the values are actually relative. Uh, there's nothing to put the finger on because everything slips in all all directions. And uh, then I thought. Well, but I believe in some values. I cannot uh, leave some values apart. The life of my child is a, an absolute value, value for me. I cannot say it's relative. This value is not negotiable. Uh, negotiable. It's, it's an absolute value. I believe in um, the European culture, for example. That culture which uh, uh, developed 2000, years starting from two giants which never wrote anything but all the libraries of the world are built on their shoulders i mean of course jesus christ and uh, socrates our Ju judaic uh, greek tradition so i believe in it i think it's a fundamental gift of the humankind and i believe in many many other things uh, i really believe but now i know that uh, now uh, i uh, uh, I am, and tomorrow I, uh, I'll be dead, maybe. Uh, and uh, this is why I couldn't uh, actually adhere to their uh, philosophy, and I uh, and postmodernism as it is left only some traces in my technique, literary technique. So um, I think uh, one should be grave sometimes and keep uh, or or she may be uh, jocular in uh, other times. <coughs> in, in being grave at such a time, would one be demonstrating the length or breadth of oneself as an organism? Is that where gravity comes from? From a body? From your body? Well, uh, about the length uh, of breath, uh, I kind of... Uh, don't believe uh, too much in it. It's only a joke. Because Proust was asthmatic. So, <laughs> uh, now uh, they say he had this long of breath in his literature. Well, he had a very short breath, actually. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, the body, of course, it's, uh, it's uh, a very important part of our soul. The body is a part of our soul, uh, and not the other way around, in my opinion. Uh, because uh, uh, the sensations come first, and then the intellect. Uh, the intellect. So, so then your child would be the, the ant that is 1.9 centimeters to your left, in your, in your description of the ants? Yes. And therefore, you, your, your child would be at the edge of your senses and your body would extend into him? No, in a way, uh, 
my child, my children, because I have two children, uh, are a part of me. I, when I think of them, uh, of my wife, of my uh, uh, friends, of my relatives, and uh, up to the end uh, of everyone, I feel them as a part of me, as a, a part of myself. So they are within the circle, not out of it. In what place in all the world do you feel most safe? Uh, I was uh, tempted to say in a tiger's cage, uh, <laughs> but it uh, would have been a bit cheap. Uh, so I would say I feel very much safe in, in my skull. So once I was supposed to interview uh, the singer Björk, and you know Björk, <coughs> of course. And, and so <coughs> I love her music, of the, course. The interview that I came up with, which I, I didn't end up giving because she was in a different city instead of the city that I was in, but the interview was that I was going to ask her if there was a plague in the country that you live, and everyone has to flee this country. And so you're all fleeing from this plague, and you get to the border of the next country, where everything is still fine. <coughs> and there's a border guard there who will let you in. So he's conducting an interview with you, this, this guard. And he, if he says to you, what can you do in our country? If we let you in, what will you do? That's my question for you. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a parable, much like uh, uh, the, the case of the law in Kafka. Uh, uh, or some other kinds of small parables, uh, sort of society games. For example, if you could uh, take only one object from uh, a house in, in uh, flames, um, who, got part, who is in fire, or in fire, okay. Uh, and uh, you have uh, uh, inside a painting of Vermeer and a little baby who cries, whom uh, uh, you would uh, 